I'ma soak up. Stack it up, ho. I gotta go and get it, yeah, it's all mine. I gotta get the cash, yeah, it's all mine. What's good with y'all boys, YouTube man? It's your boy, CK Spazzin, and I'm back with another video. I appreciate all my Spazz Out crew members for tuning in on these past videos, man. Y'all been showing love, man. And I want to say thank y'all to the new supporters and the new members to the Spazz Out crew. Ain't do nothing but going up from here, man. Hey, I hope this camera, I hope the quality come out good because it just rains, so it's a little little dewy outside so the camera keep camera lens keep kind of fogging up on me a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and get into today's video man so today this video is gonna be about my 2022 Jixxon 750 this is gonna be an update and a review you know what i'm saying just because because i've been posting a lot of a lot of videos of me riding but pretty much a good amount of videos of me riding this thing but now i feel like you know it's time for me to give y'all a review and let y'all actually see the bike see what I've done to it, and give y'all my personal opinion. I'm going to keep this shit raw and uncut. I'm going to be 100% honest, and I'm going to tell y'all what I think about this bike. No further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. I'm going to get my ugly ass face out the camera, and I'm going to let y'all see this bike. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to try to speak up a little bit because my mic, shotgun mic pointing this way. But y'all, this is my 2022 Jixxon 750. And oh my gosh, bro, you cannot tell me this motherfucker is not beautiful, bro. Oh my gosh. Might be a little dirty, just a little bit. I got caught in some rain yesterday. I went to a bike meet. So whether that video is posted before this one or after this one, if it's posted after this one, I'm telling y'all, stay tuned for that video. Y'all don't want to miss it. If it's posted afterwards, y'all go check that bike meet, uh, that bike meet video out. And then come back, rewatch this review. You feel what I'm saying? So man, check the bike out. I'm going to do y'all a quick walk around, man. Then I'm going to go through and I'm going to tell y'all everything I've done to it. I haven't done too much crazy shit. More just looks as far as like performance. I have done one thing as far as performance wise, but you know what I'm saying? Nothing that'll make this bitch just be the H2 or uh, fucking Habusa type shit. You feel what I'm saying? But man, this bitch looks stunning, dog. I've been getting a lot of, a lot of compliments on this colorway. And this is the new colorway for the 2022 models. Um, they came out with this colorway, this gray and white. I don't even know the name of it. I know I call my bike the Great White. That's the nickname for my bike. Don't nobody steal it, but it's patent pending. You feel me? <laughs> but I call this bike the Great White, bro. This the colorway, bro. You can't tell me this bitch look like, man, dog. This bitch was in the ocean, bro. This would be a mean ass shark, bro. But let's go ahead and get into the upgrades, and then we're gonna follow along with the review. First thing I've done to this bike when I first got it. As y'all all know, when you buy a brand new bike off the floor, it come with this long ass plastic piece on the back and it looks fucking hideous. You know what I'm saying? Let me fix my sticker. Sticker kind of coming off a little bit. But yeah, it's like this piece and it comes out and sticks out literally like right here, bro. I had that shit on there for like, I don't know, a couple weeks, bro, when I first got the bike. Because when I first got the bike, I went and got my motorcycle license. So I took that off, got me a Fender Eliminator kit. That's what it's called because somebody commented on my one of my videos and I accidentally commented the wrong thing. So this one is for you, bro. Go on eBay, look up your bike, the year, and look up Fender Eliminated Kit, Eliminator Kit. And what they're going to do is they're going to, you're going to take off that plastic piece and they're going to send you a bracket that you bolt, that you use the nuts, your OEM nuts for your, um, your last Fender. And then you just put the, the new pl license plate holder on the back. Thinking about really taking it off on the cool. But got that on there. Second thing I did to this bike was I put an M4 slip on exhaust. My opinion, if you ain't old school or not even old heads really be having the loudest shit. But if you, you know what I'm saying? This is for all the riders, bro. Take that shit off your bike. I'm not even gonna lie. Take the stock exhaust off your bike, bro. And you're gonna really get to see what your bike really sound like. And mine's not even sounding like, it's not even at its full potential yet because I still got my Cadillac converter on there, which will be coming off soon. Stay tuned for that. You know what I'm saying? This is my OEM exhaust that came on this bike, bro. Like, oh my gosh, bro. Like, look at how big tremendous this thing is it don't even make no fucking noise that shit had to go off bro that shit is ugly it looked like a big ass 
missile just sitting there ready to fucking explode. You feel what I'm saying? I took I took that off. I put an M4 slip on exhaust. I actually made a video doing it, man. I'm debating on if I even want to post it because it, it took me longer than expected, bro, because I was having troubles taking out the baffle, man. It was a brand new exhaust. I don't know if y'all can see. Boom. Focus. Me trying to take that belt off, man, I was scratching it up in the inside, bro, and it was fucking bothering me, dude. I had to get it out. Like, I was already halfway there, bro. I was committed. I didn't even care about the scratches at that point. I was just like, I got to get it out so I can get the full potential of the slip on. You know what I'm saying? So, fast forward, put the pipe on there. Second thing I did to my bike was I took the OEM windscreen off and I put it on this aftermarket windscreen by... P-U-I-G. P-U-I-G. Damn, that shit scared me, but I ain't gonna let my fucking heart drop. Whew. P-U-I-G windscreen. This was like 90 bucks, I believe. 90 bucks, I believe. Didn't take that long to come in. Kind of had a little bit of troubles putting this on, too. I'm gonna prepare y'all for if y'all getting ready to take off your OEM windscreen, which I'm gonna go grab right now so I can compare it. That way y'all can see the difference between the two. So, this is my OEM windscreen. Compared, there's no bubble on here. It was real low. So, it didn't really it really didn't push up no wind from my face. You know what I'm saying? So, I was really catching everything. So, if y'all can see, y'all see the side view of this right here? And look at the side view of this. Like, this was flat down. This one goes up. Scoops up. So, all of that wind, you know what I'm saying? When you tuck your head, I can't feel anything. I'm not going to say I can't feel anything, but... It's a, it's a big difference, you know what I'm saying? That wind is pushing up, you know what I'm saying, over your head instead of versus with this one is being flat down, it's going straight to your face. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't hard to put on, don't get me wrong, but I had troubles getting to these last two bolts right here because it was it's behind the speedometer screen and shit, and I did not take that off. I see a lot of videos where they took that whole thing off to get to it. I didn't even do that, but... I'm going to be honest, it's, it'll save you the trouble if you just go ahead and take it off. I just didn't want to have to deal with all of that because I had already took off my my uh, my uh mirrors in order in order to get to it. Third thing I did was I put these uh these end caps on my bars. These little jigsaw end caps. Nice little touch, you know what I'm saying? Give it just a, it give it a good little, you know what I'm saying? Give it a good look. It's the little shit that really make the bike turn into what it is, you know what I'm saying? Nothing on my bike was over $100 besides my... Uh, my M4 slip on exhaust because I did buy that brand new, but yeah, back to these. I put my little Jixer uh end caps on my on my handlebars, uh, gave it a nice little touch. I, I wanted to do that, man. That looked good. Let's see, give y'all one more, one more little look. And so, after that, after that, what I did was really let me rewind. The first thing I put on my bike was this uh, this little pro grip tank, tank pad. I'm still looking for one to go on my gas tank because I already got one little scratch from when I first rolled my bike, bro, and that shit just bugs me. I don't want to put no more on there, you know what I'm saying? I want to keep my shit looking right. I bought it brand new. I want to keep it looking brand new, you feel me? So, <clears throat> windscreen, bar ends, tank pad. So, third thing, besides the tank pad, Third thing I did was I put these clutch levers on here. And I'm not even going to lie to y'all, bro. This this right here is a must. I put my clutch clutch lever and I put front brake front brake lever. And I ain't going to lie. It, it looked way better than the OEM ones, bro. I, I wish I would have got all black, but I don't really mind the red. The red kind of give it just a little, you know, a little sporty touch, a little, a little touch. It's nothing too much. And they kind of go with my, you know what I'm saying? my leg pads on the side which i'm gonna get to that but <clears throat> with these right here it's not the it's not the unbreakable ones you know what i'm saying it's not those these is like what 50 60 bucks off ebay and they come with different settings bro so <clears throat> quick rundown with the original with the original clutch, clutch levers they don't sit up this high and it, it's no it's no play so in order to, like, say, for instance, you want to pop a wheelies and shit. This is really why I got it, so I can start popping wheelies and showing y'all footage of that. But back to the OEM ones. The OEM ones, you have to pull down all the way and, and hold it with all your fingers. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, 
you're not getting any clutch pull until you're all the way down here. So you have to pull it all the way down in order to shift gears and, you know what I'm saying, pop the clutch or, you know, anything of that nature. So as y'all can see with this one, you have different levels and positions you can put it at on your, uh, your clutch lever and on the, it's the same on, on the front brake. So right now I got it on six, well six is the highest position. So if y'all see, as I click it down, so it skipped down to one, but two, three, four, five, six. So with it being at one, it's lower. So this is kind of, it's kind of like having the OEM clutch lever on there. You gotta, you can't really pop the clutch or nothing because the, the, the cable is not actually pulling in the clutch until you get all the way down here. You get what I'm, now you get what I'm saying? But with it being on six, all I have to do is use one finger. This is this all I gotta do. And I'm good. Like my clutch is pulled in all the way with, with, with just this little bit amount of pull. You get what I'm saying? So these things come in clutch. I say this is a must. Like this should be like one of the first things you do to your bike if you get something brand new. Or you get a bike that's used but it don't have aftermarket clutch levers on there. That way you can be, you don't have to, you know what I'm saying, take all your <clears throat> your grip off the handlebars. Because say for instance you accidentally slip or something, trying to react coming from like this versus having three fingers on there, you get what I'm saying? It's way better. And it's the same on, on that side. So yes, I got them off of eBay as well. And with it being a 2022 bike, a lot of shit was saying that it wouldn't fit on my bike. And I guess that just because the bike just came out, they ain't really updated and they don't really know the specs or whatever. But a lot of old shit that's for older models, they all the same, bro, in my opinion. So if you get some 07, 06, certain things, certain things will fit on this bike. So <clears throat> it is a little something, something that's a little bit different. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to what I did next. So next what I did was <clears throat> I put these tank I put these tank grips on there. Ain't gonna lie, it gave it a nice look. I was afraid that it was going to take away the look of the bike and it was going to make it, you know what I'm saying, look like it was just too much, but I needed to because I sometimes I ride my bike to work and I don't want my jeans to start wearing and tearing on the on the tank pad on the side and shit like that. I'll get them, you know what I'm saying, just work grease and shit on there and stuff like that. And plus, <clears throat> riding this bike with shorts on, which you shouldn't, but I ride, it's been hot lately. It's, we just got some rain, but riding this bike with shorts on, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people done it, do it still. Your legs will start sweating on that paint, on that uh, tank, and I don't want my sweat to start fucking... You know what I'm saying rubbing off the clear coat on my tank or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Got my tank pads. There's one on this side and it's actually one on this side. And as y'all can see, it has like these little grooves on there. Get a little dust off of there. So, and it's real. I ain't gonna lie. This shit is grippy, bro. Like it's grippy. Like my legs don't go anywhere. Don't slide anywhere with these things on there. So I really highly rec recommend these. And I think these was like 40 bucks. Like 30, 40 bucks, I got them off of, uh, I think I got them off of Amazon. I think I got them off of Amazon. <clears throat> got that. <clears throat> got my brake oil. Look, just a little pad, man. This ain't nothing too much. Just to give it a little more of a look. So I don't really do shit, but it look good in there. It look good in there. Next thing I did to my bike, I put these Jixxer 750 with uh, wheel stickers on here. And man, oh man, I'm not even going to lie. These bitches look so good, bro. I'm not even going to lie, bro. This get a bike a whole nother look, dog. Like, check them out, bro. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. Y'all have to. If y'all don't plan on getting new rims or y'all don't plan on powder coating your rims, y'all want to go the cheaper route like me, bro, you cannot go wrong with these stickers, bro. You can't, like, bro, look how it... it it gives the bike a whole nother look, dog. A whole nother look, man. And I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I'm being 100% honest with y'all. I get a lot of compliments on these wheels. And a lot of people that has complimented, complimented me on these wheels, they thought that they was OEM. They thought that these was actually painted like this. That lets you know that these stickers ain't no joke, bro. And they wasn't cheap, but they ain't expensive. They was like... 80 bucks, 80 something bucks on eBay, but plus shipping was like 90. I'm in the um, in the sleep, and they come with all the stickers on there, bro. It's not hard to put on, not hard at all. Just make sure you get you some brake cleaner to clean off your wheels before you put them on, because you don't want to be having dust and shit when you put them on. You want them to look as good as they can. And actually take your time. And know for the people who are wondering, I don't have a bike stand, and that's what I am waiting on. I'm waiting for my bike stand levers to come in as we speak. 
I don't have a bike stand, so I did it just like it is now off the kickstand. And when I got to certain areas, when I got to certain areas of my bike, I just rolled it forward and I just, I mean, I rolled it forward and I rolled it backwards just to get, you know, to certain areas, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's probably like, like my most favorite, that is my most favorite thing I've done to this bike. Kind of tied up with, with what I got next, what I did to the bike, but <clears throat> kind of got the lead, man. These, these wheel stickers is just insane, bro. And I got them to match the OEM sticker on the side. I think they call it Neo Yellow or some shit. It's a little bit off. It's, it's, it's more off on the camera than it is with the naked off. I got a piece of hair on me. So, like, right now on the camera, you can, like, really see the difference between the colors. But I'm going to be honest. In person, you can't really tell. And I could take that off, too. But I don't want to take that off on the bike because I like the way it look. Give it a look. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take it off and just be... I want to have it complement each other a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But on to my next upgrade. I took off my rear seat. <clears throat> so took it off i took off my pegs and y'all can see like how much cleaner that looks you know what i'm saying that the bike looks so much cleaner and it, i'm gonna be honest it make it look a whole lot more sportier without that seat on there and without the pegs man without them pegs man it just clean all of that up in there bro like that shit looks good bro and you can i can see the wheel clearly now you know what i'm saying but i still do i got this uh carbon fiber seat uh, C cow off of eBay, only like 30 bucks. It's not real carbon fiber, you know what I'm saying? None of this shit real carbon fiber. So, why would I spend $300 on a, you know what I'm saying? Uh, real carbon fiber, and, you know what I'm saying? So, but 30 bucks, bro, go get you one. You feel me? Take off your seat if you ain't got nobody riding. Take off your seat, take off the pigs. And I'm telling you, bro, your bike gonna look so much cleaner without that extra shit clearing up in there, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, that it, it looks good, bro. And I still do have my seat. I still do have my my uh my pegs for whenever my girl ready to ride. Whenever my whenever it's time for me and my girl to ride, I'ma pop it back on, take that, take that cowl off and just screw my uh screw my foot pegs back in, bro. It ain't it ain't hard at all. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you get you some Loctite. What else I did? What else I did? What else I did? What else I did? Ooh. I think that's it, man. I think that's it. I put these little sticks. I went to a bike meet, bike life. Got my little gold sticker right there. I know y'all probably like, why you got gold out of all the cutters? But that, that's because I got some gold, you know what I'm I got some gold decals coming in the mail, which I already got some that already came in. And I actually got this Bike Life Mafia right here, Houston Bike Life Mafia right there. That should go with the wheels perfectly. Uh, but yeah, man, that's all I have on my bike right now. This is my 2022 Jixa 750. And I'm going to give y'all one more walk around. You know what I'm saying? What it's looking like, man. It's not the cleanest right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I rode last night. But yeah, man. Damn, bro. I'm not going to lie. This this bike is a fucking beauty, bro. And a lot of people see it. A lot of people. I get a lot of compliments, man. I want to say thank y'all, man. For real, for real. This bike, this bike is beautiful, bro. 750. This bitch got more than enough power. Look good. Sound good. I'm going to give y'all a uh, matter of fact, I'm going to give y'all a little, a little hearing. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all hear this thing. It is cold, so I ain't gonna do too much revving, but I'm gonna let y'all hear it, you know what I'm saying, for what it what it what it sound like. camera finna die right now i got a little bit of video uh video time left but yeah like i was saying hope i'll get i'm gonna explain this before it cut off y'all see it my suspension bro is gold bro and that shit looks so fucking good so what i have these are the only ones that came in these are gold decals for my 750 they go on the back right here as y'all can see i'm gonna try to get that shit to focus but look look at how good that shit look bro and these 3D print too. So I'm gonna have these right here on the back. And I'm currently waiting on my gold jigsaw uh, decal to come in right now. And once they come in, I'm gonna put them on. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. This bitch gonna be official, man. I ain't gonna lie. That shit gonna change the look of the bike, man. 
man, I can't wait because these hoes right here look hard, bro. So all I'm waiting for is my Jixxon logo to come in, and I'm going to be putting them on, and I'm going to show y'all what the bike look like with that little touch. I want to say thank y'all for tuning in on today's video, man. Thank y'all for watching, man. I had to bring y'all update and a review on the bike, man. It ride good. It look good, man. It rides amazing, bro. I do not regret this purchase, bro. Go get y'all one, man. Don't be stuck on the 1,000 just because it got the 1,000, bro. This bitch running. A lot of people get, a lot of people get uh, spooked, bro, when I roll beside them and I really take off on their ass because I done beat a lot of people. You feel what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for tuning in on today's video. It's your boy CK Spazzin. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining the Spazzin crew, man. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. You dig?